welcome back. This is Michelle from Michelle's Empty Nest, and I am back after not sharing a video for a couple of weeks to get started on the load challenge for May. So this is load 522, and um, load stands for layout a day over at Scrap Happy. It's a um, a membership site you can join or you can just join in for the month of load um, but it's a wonderful site with lots of inspiration and lots of fun things going on um, so if you're not familiar with scrap happy you can look them up at um, scraphappy.org I think is their their dot um, so the theme for this one is architecture and from around the world at different times and that kind of thing. So the first prompt is about how some things always stay the same uh, as it relates to architecture, and but we're going to translate that into something in the scrapbooking world. So what I chose as my topic today um, is my husband and I. Um, I. I say it hasn't changed. If anything, I love him more now than I did way back when, if that was even possible. I didn't think it would be, but you know, your love grows more and more. We've been together for 35 years and married for 32. Um, but you know, it, it hasn't changed. Me and him, him and me, we haven't changed as far as our, you know, our relationship and our connection to each other. So that's going to be how I tie in there. I'm not going to get the technique prompt in today, so I'm not going to worry about that. But I thought I'd uh, show you what I was using real quick to go with my photos. I did print them at different sizes and printed one in black and white, uh, just because I, I like that look. And the three papers that I've pulled that I'm pretty sure I'm going to use, um, the first one, they're all from Simple Story Sweet Talk, which is a Valentine's line. Um, so I'm going to attempt to use a Valentine's line with some Christmas photos and just make it be about love in general, but not Valentine themed. So, um, this first one is called Two by Two Elements. That's what's on the other side. I'm using this one, the B side, uh, with the polka dots, because he has on red, and I have on a shirt that's a, a little bit, you can see a little there. It's a teal shirt, um, so I kind of wanted to pick up that color a little bit, and I think that's going to be a border. And then this one is, let's see, it is called All of My Heart, but I'm going to use this side, and I think what I'm going to do is make it be my main background, so I'll have a border and a background, and of course, I'll stitch that on because I like to messy stitch on my layouts, and then I have Love Is... This is the A side. I'm using, I think I'm using B sides on everything today, which is often what I do. And it's going to be mats for my photos. I do like to mat my photos and I like to um, distress my photo or distress my mats. So that's kind of the basic layout that I'm gonna, or the basic materials that I'm gonna use. And then I have, I think most of the collection, I have the papers, I have the, um, Oh, what were they called? Like the page kit things, those newer things that they're putting together. I have two of those. I have the um, chipboard stickers, cardstock stickers. I have foam stickers. I have puffies. I have ephemera. Um, I have a larger sticker sheet, or that may be the same one. Anyway, I've got lots of things in here to use, and um, I'm just going to see what I can get get done and see how this turns out at the end. So I'm going to put you on fast forward. We'll get it taken care of. So let's do it. Okay, guys, this one goes fairly quickly. I did not speed it up as much as I normally do um, because I just didn't have that much footage to have to speed through. So I'm gutting this paper and I'm doing that by putting it at the 10 inch mark because I'm going to leave a two inch border all the way around. And then on the ruler part where my blade is, I'm punching in at two inches and going down to 10 and doing that all the way around. And so that leaves me with a two inch border. And I decided to cut this striped paper at uh, 11 by 11 so that I have a half inch border all the way around. And I, I like how um, that 
it gave me enough of that red um, dot showing through on that aqua piece of paper. I just felt like I wasn't going to get enough of that red if I did less of less than that um, on the border. So, but it, that's, you know, it's kind of just personal preference. I wanted to see more of the red, and so that's why I did that. And then on the striped paper, I wanted to distress the edges, so I've done that. And um, I'm going to grab my ATG gun, and this thing has been giving me fits. I'm not sure if it's just my ATG gun has given up the ghost there. You see it was a mess. Or if I just got a bad batch of tape rolls, but I am really struggling with that thing. I can't even, like you see, get three or four um, swipes without it getting hung up. So I don't know. I need to maybe try some new tape and see if that works. So I took it off and I stitched it in red, um, just kind of playing up on that color a little bit. And now I'm going to work on my photos and I wanted to pop both of them up on foam. So I'm just grabbing some scraps of the like fun foam, craft foam that you get at Walmart or the Dollar Tree or craft store, anywhere you can get this foam. And the kind that I use is adhesive on one side and then I use the other side um, or on the other side I use liquid glue. And so I'm getting the um, side that's already sticky put in place. And I will end up going back and putting a little bit more on the black and white photo because it's going to overlap the other photo. So I needed to pump it up just a little bit more. And um, then I thought I would go ahead and kind of decide what my title was going to be. I knew from the beginning I was not going to have a lot of time to spend on this layout. Um, as I mentioned, it's for load and today is the first day. Um, but I've had a pretty busy day and I knew I didn't have much time to just go all out with this one. So I wasn't planning to use a lot of ephemera. So I wanted to go ahead and think about my title and make sure I, I would you know, know where that would go. So I pulled out a few pieces. Um, the little word strips say, I heart you forever and ever and so loved. And I wanted them just to kind of look like they were just like drop down on that photo. And um, so they're sort of random, but randomly on purpose, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and work on getting these photos glued down to the matte paper that I'm going to use and it's that red one with it's kind of a, a creamy little set of spots that um, is on there and um, so I'm, I'm matting those both with the same paper and I, I'm using my favorite liquid glue of the moment which is um, still the Barely Arts Precision Glue and uh, I just, I like it because it comes out of that very fine nozzle. I don't have to buy a separate tip. It already comes that way. Um, the glue is sticky, but it's not, when it gets on my fingers, it's not so sticky and tacky on my fingers that it becomes aggravating, which is what I find with some liquid glues. I know that's a crazy, you know, criteria, but um, for me that matters. And so... I, um, I just like it. It gives you enough time to move something around if you need to, but then it does dry fairly quickly, so you're not having to wait around for a long time. So for me, it's just kind of uh, you know perfect mix of, of what I'm looking for in a liquid adhesive. So now I'm going to use that uh, little distressing tool. It's, I can't remember if it's from Ranger or Tim Holtz or Collaboration, um, but I use it... Um, almost on every layout. I really do enjoy the distressing. So I'm distressed around the edges of the pictures and here's where I realized I needed to add another little bit of foam uh, to give that an, a level up there um, over the other photo. So I'll get that in place and then I realized I had not glued down the first photo yet. <laughs> so I've got to kind of do a little flip flop and, and get that one in place as well. But it works out okay. I kind of get it back in place where it was. And just haphazard, no rhyme or reason as to why things are going where they are. Just I like photos to kind of be a little catty corner, especially with the striped background. I just didn't want things to become too linear looking. So I thought just having them at an angle worked pretty well. 
and I decided I would go easy on the title and just use some of these pre-made things and so I wanted to do the little scrabble tiles of loved and then right up under it I'm going to do that forever and ever so it'll say loved forever and ever and um, again that kind of ties in with the prompt for this day of load because um, our love has never changed in a way. I mean, I, I think we both have grown in our love and we've grown in our relationship and in our marriage and all those kind of things, but our commitment to each other, um, you know, has always stayed the same. And so that was the main focus of today's prompt for load 522. So I'm going to distress this um, little piece of ephemera that says, I love you this much. And I tuck that up there, kind of like an oversized tab. And so I'm going to put my adhesive squares on there. And I decided to do a double layer there because I want it to pop up just a little bit. And these are scrapbook adhesives by 3L. And they're my favorite um, foam squares. They come in big squares, little squares, circles. They come in thin. They come in regular. You can get a multi-pack. So there's quite a few options. They come in white, they come in black, but they're all, I just find them very easy to use. I like that they don't have that full backing sheet to have to dig them out of. So I really like that a lot. So now I'm going to um, go ahead and get those three little word strip phrases adhered down. And I'm just using my roller adhesive for that, which is Kikuyo. And I still like it as my favorite roller adhesive of the moment. And that's been for, for a while now. Um, I prefer it over anything else I've tried so far. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do anything else. I, I look at a few other things, pull a few things over. But in the end, this ends up being it. This is where I stop and it, it works out just fine for me. So there'll be close-ups at the end as well as over on Instagram. And I will be back here to talk to you in just a second. Okay, I am going to call this one done right here. Um not a lot of embellishments no like real clusters or anything like that um just a few little pieces of ephemera and my title from the foam stickers um and that's gonna be it it's just a photo it's obviously under the mistletoe so it's christmas time so i think the photo kind of does the journaling for me um and I don't usually like to write my journaling on my layouts anyway. Um, if anything, I prefer it to be tight or in a pocket somewhere. And since load is a layout a day, sometimes you have to kind of maybe vary a little bit from some of the longer techniques that you might do and uh, just keep it simple so that you can get the layout done. Now, there'll be some days I'm sure where I do things that are a little more elaborate, um, but this one is just very short, sweet, and simple, but it's documented, it's done and dusted. It'll be ready to go into my album. Oh, I do need to date it, so let me do that real quickly. Um, so today is May 1st of 2022. Um, let's see where I'm gonna put it. I think it's just gonna go right here. And that'll work for me. Um, so that will be the last little detail to add. Um, I started to pull out some enamel dots and I changed my mind. I thought about using um, some black splatters. I thought about doing some Nuvo drops, but like I said, I'm just going to keep this one short and simple. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, I would love a thumbs up down below. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that as well and become a part of my little YouTube family. We are growing and that makes me so very happy. I love to hear from you in the comments. So if you have any questions or um just anything you want to chat about, I would be glad to answer down in the comment section. There's always lots of things linked below in the description box that I use on a regular basis. Um, 
some of those will now be affiliate links for scrapbook.com. So just be aware of that. It doesn't cost you anything, any extra, but it does um, provide a little bit of um, money coming in for me for the time that it takes to put the videos together and that kind of thing. So that is something um, that is new for me starting this month. So um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here. I'll link the uh, Scrap Happy website as well in case you would like to join in for load. You don't have to do the layout every day to participate. That's the goal, but even if you only do 10, that's 10 layouts you might not have done otherwise. So until I see you in the next video, take care of yourself and do something good for yourself, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.